Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, just a quick intraday update. Um, the price is still obviously in a correction, hasn't shown a substantial reaction to any support levels yet. The uh, wave count has been adjusted uh, throughout the day. So I've already mentioned that to our Discord members, to our gold members, and the next support zone has now been reached based on the adjusted wave count. So that is not a wave count that I communicated in the previous video, it's one that where I already thought I already thought uh, it looks better than the one I communicated in the previous um, in the previous video, and it has better look. So I adjusted the support area, communicated on Discord already that, and I go to our Discord server to our signals channel. So the communication was that the price is approaching the green trend line. I've made a slight adjustment to the microstructure because I like the look. That was when was that? two hours ago because I like the look of this structure more. I've changed the microstructure to a larger diagonal pattern in which wave B has key support at 58K. So if we open that, you see the price at the time was still way above the support area. We've since then now pulled back to the 38.2 retracement, broke the trend line. And with that, the first, you could say first target for wave B has been reached. Um, the previous wave count I talked about in the previous video, however, is not invalidated, but this year has the better look and it is a wave count that in my view um, is leading over the yellow, more bearish wave count as long as we're holding the orange support region, which is defined between 61,550 and 58,000. So no surprise that we've seen a bit more of a correction also, anyway, in the previous video, there was no confirmation that a low was in place or so highlighted to you as long as we are below the red trend line. Um, that Yeah, the trend is basically still down, right? And there has, no, has been no buy reaction. What I will do now, I will take the green line out. And what would now be a first indication that a correction is finished? So... First of all, there are different approaches to this. First of all, what is important and noteworthy is the price seems weak, which is normal in the correction, but we've even broken below all these previous resistance levels. So the price could not confirm any of the previous breakout points, the previous resistances from August, specifically the area around 61.9K as support. That indicates a weakness. So that means we, we still have to you know, assume the correction is set to continue, especially as long as we are below the trend line. We have an ABC structure to the downside here. That C wave seems extended. I don't have a very clear microstructure here, um, but we can use the trend line. So until we break above the trend line, there is absolutely no evidence a low is in place, but we can watch these Fibonacci support levels I just mentioned to see if there's a reaction. 61,550, we're still holding above it. 60,488. 59,447 and 57,995. These are the relevant Fibonacci support levels. There is a resistance area. So if we break above resistance, uh, not above, above, the, above the trend line, that could be an early signal low is in, but it would, from a uh, Fibonacci point of view or Elliott wave point of view, it would require a break above 63,312, the 50% retracement for a first indication that a low is in place. Now, this is Elliott wave and the trend line is just an indication that something is changing, right? Either way, as always, without a one, two setup to the upside, there is no bottoming confirmation. So we need five waves up, ideally above resistance, followed by a three wave pullback holding a higher low. This is just a descending trend line at the moment. And we seem to be increasing in downside momentum at the moment. So we could even draw an additional trend line here. And I don't know if you, we talked about it in the weekend um, member live stream, like a bump and run pattern. This is, I think I mentioned in the last video, it looks a bit like that. You have your steady downtrend and then a, rep, a more rapid downtrend. And upon a break of the first trend line, you know, that that is, even though it's a more risky entry, but that's an, a first entry based on that pattern, okay? It's not a prediction, it's just that, you know, it's just something to watch for. And then the second entry based on that pattern would be um, here a break above the second trend line. It's just just a pattern to watch this kind of bump and run. Google it if you don't know about it. Um, 
But yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to play out, but at some point we should get a recovery. And if it's then an impulsive rally, you know, that could mark the start of wave C of three to the upside. So that's how I see the price at the moment. Um, we are deep in support. I mean, if we just look at the four hour time frame, there is on the MACD no sign a correction is over. On the RSI, we're not yet oversold. So technically there is more downside potential. The one hour is now way oversold, however. So a bounce is actually due in my view. So definitely worth watching for it now. Um, but again, you know, we are watching for it. it hasn't shown up yet that bounce. So um, next support would be 60,488. But keep in mind that bump and run pattern, is certainly interesting. Even if it's just a rally to resistance, you know, it can always happen. So that's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.